Hello,、uh, nice to meet you. My name is Tomoko Sawada from Japan.、Um, I'm not very、really、good at speaking English, so please excuse me for reading the translated text I had prepared. So, it was my greatest honor and pleasure to have my works exhibited at the exhibition Global Feminism. And I'm so grateful to have such a wonderful opportunity to visit and speak here in the Brooklyn Museum. The works I have exhibited till now were all self portraits. Actually, there were two exceptions where I used video in my work. But other than that, my works always consisted of photos. And in this exhibition, I put my fifth work titled School Days, which shows a series of group photos. This is one class of the school, and all the students and a teacher here are actually myself. And I created 10 pictures in this series, disguising as hundreds of different individuals. I used to The school that I attended for the background of all photos. In order to create this series, I visited my old school and took photos in many different places. The uniform the students are wearing in the photos is not an actual one, but rental clothes used for TV dramas or other projects. Pictures of each student were shot in the studio, and later on, I made a composite and combined it with the background. In Japan, during school days, from kindergarten to high school, people have a lot of opportunities to have group photos taken, and almost all junior high and high schools have their own school uniforms. The school year starts in the spring in April, and they take the first group photo of the year at this time. The second one is usually taken in the beginning of summer, when students change their uniforms to summer ones. As a symbolic sign of the season, First semester photo almost always has cherry blossoms somewhere in the frame. And for summer photo, green leaves and trees can play its role. As I said before, all the materials that I have used in my works in my own self portraits. And when I started considering how and why this style and theme have come out as my concept of work, I set out to create this series school days. During junior high and high school days, so called adolescent years in life, school uniforms uniformize and homogenize teenagers in their looks. In the meantime, however, girls don't give up. They struggle to differentiate from others by altering lengths of skirts, hanging of shirts, or wearing unique socks, and so on. Some girls venture to make different hairstyles, even taking a risk of breaking school regulations. And I am one of such girls who went. To an all girls school. I spent six years all of my junior, high, junior and high school days surrounded by girls, and that's why the group photos I made in this series are all occupied with girls. <coughs> in creating my work, I have never tried to disguise or take a reference to certain actual individuals. What I try to become is someone different from myself, and in order to do that, I just change my appearance. I never empathize with or act as someone else in my photos. 
When school days was exhibited in Japan, I saw the people making various comments in front of the work. This girl would be my best friend if I were a member of this class, or I want this girl to be my girlfriend, or, or she must be belonging to a track club, or this girl is sure to be smart, or something like that. People just could not stop imagining even though they knew that each and every student in the photo is nothing but a disguise of a single individual. I love to see such people's reactions. One person even said that seeing my work was painful because it reminded her of bitter memo memories from her school days. Speaking of my case, I did not like group photos very much because it was almost impossible that a group photo became a very best shot for every person in the photo. For example, um, one was closing eyes and other was grounding down, but still there were some girls making perfect expressions. Looking back to my school days, as a teenager, it was a vital thing how much I could express my own personality in a group photo. Among the girls who were wearing the same uniforms and similar hairstyles. Now, I suppose that spending six years only with girls has had much effect on my current style of work. Uh, next one is my first work titled ID400. To produce it, I used an instant ID photo machine in the Kobe City. This machine is like a small photo booth slash vending machine that can be found in different locations around the city. One set I machine and took ID photos, disguising myself as 400 different identities. At the exhibition, Photos are arranged and displayed in frame, and each frame has 100 ID photos. In this work, ID 400, I included my photo of bald head. When I complete, completed taking 400 ID photos, I shaved my head and took a photo with no makeup. Now, I have an int intuition that this bald head photo has some profound message and could be a key which related to all my work. I first exhibited this ID400 when I was a university student and since that time have been working on the same subject. What I am always focusing on is the relationship between appearance and inner face. When this ID 400 was exhibited, I visited and walked around the exhibition hall with a bald head. But only a few visitors, maybe about 20% of them, could identify me as the one they had been looking at 400 times in the photos. This experience include, intrigued me more about the relation between appearance and the inner face. Next, I'm oh, sorry. Uh,
Uh, next one is produced after Li 400, and the title is Omiyai. Omiyai is a Japanese traditional marriage meeting to find a future husband or wife. In most cases, there is a matchmaker, and the first thing to do in Omiyai process is to exchange photos of each other before meeting. If both sides get interested in another, they can proceed to the next step or direct meeting or having lunch or dinner accompanied by both parents. After that, major decisions will be made step by step, whether they start dating or not, and next, whether they marry or not. This traditional Omiya system is somehow still working in Japan, and in older days, some people chose their marriage partner only by photos even without meeting each other. I felt that this Omiya system is a perfect material to explore my subject and decided to create this work by picking up Omiya photos. During the exhibition of this series, I experienced the same, same phenomenon as I had at the exhibition of school days. Standing in front of photos, people could not help expanding their imaginations. As the Omiya photo is directly related to marriage, they would say things like, she looks like a good cook, surely every day she would prepare delicious meals. Or, this girl could be a perfect bride for my son. Or, I can tell she would not be a good housewife. Or, such a grateful girl, she must be the daughter of a decent family, and so on. I saw some visitors making each different comments girl by girl. However, even though they single out the very best girl among all, it's just a waste of, of effort because whoever they choose the girl to show up at the dinner table is no one but me, who actually looks like nobody in the photos. So sometimes I think that it might be funny if I sent 30 different photos for my own Omiyai. However, at the Omiyai meeting, my prospective in-laws would not recognize me. So um, this is the uh, end of my speech. Uh, I, ap I appreciate your listening, and I am pleased if you enjoy my talk. Thank you so much.